So one of my viewers brought this video to my attention, and I don't know if I'm thankful that he brought this to my attention, or I am angry that he brought this to my attention, because it certainly made me lose a lot of brain cells. Nonetheless, uh, let's take a look. So as Ron Filipowski tweets out, the San Diego Board of Supervisors meeting tonight featured a litany of deranged anti-vaxxers, including Matt Baker. He accused them of violating the Nuremberg Code, called them Nazis, with Fauci as Fuhrer, and said, your children and your children's children will be subjugated. So, um, enjoy. If you're back, and they should be begging you to do the right thing, you're about to open a pit of hell. You do not get a vaccine passport put on us. You know, as the population who's in control, you know that the people or the politicians, once you get a power, you will never relinquish it. Do you think that the four feet of marble that holds you above high in this chamber will help you from the fate of humanity, which you are unleashing. No! no! It won't! Your children and your children's children will be subjugated. They will be asked, how many vaccines have you had? Have you been a good little Nazi? Hail Fauci! Hail Fauci! Hail Fauci! Hail Fauci! There's been a lot of talk about the Nuremberg Code. Well, I brought you a copy. You are all in violation of Section 1. Yes, you, Dr. Wilton. You are in violation of the Nuremberg Code, which is international law. And the, de the definition is... Thank you, sir. Your time has expired. The definition we shall not be... Okay. <laughs> Look, if anti-vaxxers don't want the rest of society to think that they're crazy, things like that don't help. Things like that do not help. But it really doesn't matter like what type of anti-vaxxer, uh, a, you know, whatever approach that they take, they find some way to come off as incredibly tone deaf and unhinged. Like that individual, when I see that, I think, oh, wow, this person is probably like delusional, seemingly violent. He's unhinged. Um, yeah, I, I think it's deeply offensive and gross to compare vaccine passports to the Holocaust. I think that's really disgusting. That's incredibly disgusting because the difference is that vaccines actually save lives, whereas the Holocaust led to millions of deaths. So for him to use that, uh, not only is it disgusting, but it shows how big of a snowflake you are to where you'd think that vaccine passports are comparable to the Holocaust grow up grow up stop being a snowflake just shut up now another anti-vaxxer that i saw took a different approach so this is from crazy mothers which i think is an appropriate title she says dear media please retire the use of the term anti-vaxxer it is derogatory inflammatory and marginalizes both women and their experiences. It is dismissive, simplistic, highly offensive, and largely false. We politely request that you refer to us as the vaccine risk aware. So I appreciate that approach more than that dumb fuck who is screaming at the top of his lungs, but shut the fuck up. <laughs> like this, it's not gonna be like you, you get to um, subject society to a perpetual state of a plague and then you, we have to use your conspiratorial terms. Vaccine risk aware. Shut the fuck up. Okay, you know what? If you don't want us to call you anti-vaxxers, as somebody pointed out, we'll just call you plague enthusiasts because that's basically what you are. Uh, you are not just ignorant, but you're on the side of the pandemic. So I think plague enthusiast might be something that we can refer to you as. Dumb fucks, I think, is going to work. Um, look, these people are truly, uh, they're becoming more deranged as, you know, the push for vaccinations increases with the severity of the Delta variant, as hospitals continue to fill up, as pediatric hospitals uh, begin to uh, reach full capacity in some areas. Uh, there's going to be this push and there's going to be more unhinged people. But I don't believe that the most unhinged, stupidest people in the country get to keep all of us in a perpetual state of pandemic. Shut the fuck up. The vaccine is objectively good for your health 
and the health of your community. Stop being a little baby. Stop being a beta male cuck. Shut the fuck up. Vaccines are good. And um, if you don't like it, too bad. Because I don't like being in a state of a uh, perpetual plague. And I don't think that you should have the right to take away my freedom as an individual who wants to live in a society that isn't constantly riddled by a plague that can be easily eradicated, at least in the United States, by a vaccine that's basically a medical miracle. The fact that we have a vaccine this quickly that's that effective is a fucking uh, miracle. It speaks to the innovations of medicine and, and how far we've come as a society that we can do something like this. But these dumb fucks, you know, they just want to scream and, and screech and, and, and I'm sick of it. No. Uh, you don't get to keep all of us in a perpetual plague. Fuck off. We should absolutely mandate vaccines through vaccine passports and allow people who are vaccinated, who did the right thing, to have the ability to have a little bit more freedom. If you want to dine indoors, if you want to go back to, you know, uh, doing things again, I think that we should be allowed to do that since we did the right thing in protecting ourselves and, uh, you know, our community. So, uh, I mean, th these people are crazy. I don't know what else to say, uh, but thank you to Sauron for sharing that. Uh, I guess I'm a little bit... Um, uh, I'm a little bit saddened that I saw that video, but nonetheless, you know, I I'm not surprised because this is probably going to be the more sane response to vaccines that, that we're going to see throughout the totality of the pandemic. I'm sure somebody will, like, show up to a city hall meeting, uh, projectile vomiting on city councilors and then shitting themselves, foaming at the mouth. I mean, I I'm not sure, but um, whatever we see in the future, I'm not going to be surprised. I I'm just, I'm not how many vaccines have you had? Have you been a good little Nazi? Hey, Fauci! Hey, Fauci! Hey, Fauci! Hey, Fauci! There's been a lot of talk about the Nuremberg Code. Well, I brought you a copy. You are all in violation.